Thank you. My name is Jawad Zawalistani. I was born in 1992 in Daikundi province. I completed my school education in Daikundi and after concord examination I entered Kabul University where I studied English language and literature. I completed my university studies uh, at the end of 2014 and after university studies I started working with different organizations. Yes, I'm a four finalist for the Fulbright Scholarships. I cannot win or two certain things as the key of my success, but I think there were many things that helped me to, to prepare myself for this uh, amazing competitive scholarship. How committed you are to your community, to your, to your country and to your people. That means what are the potentials that demonstrate you are a committed Afghan young who will return whatever, wherever he goes, wherever she goes, and he'll be, he or she'll be back in Afghanistan. And I think I was always trying to be that kind of person, and I think that helped me a lot. Uh, in addition to that was uh, language skills. I, I, I was always trying to improve my language skills and improve as much, as better as I can, my English language skills. And also having a clear goal helped me a lot. During my work, during my study at Kabul University, I was always trying to have a clear goal. And this clear goal helps you to go to write a good study and future plans essay. And also thinking about your future, about your past, and about your potentials helps you to write a good personal statement essay. I was always thinking about all this and when I started to apply for the Fulbright Scholarship somehow I had a clear idea of what to do and what to use and how I can make myself a competitive candidate for the Fulbright Afghanistan and make myself somehow to reach myself to the uh, finalist uh, stage, to interview stage and, f I, and also I had prepared myself for for the Fulbright interview and that was all uh, somehow of having a clear goal. I cannot say we can do everything by ourselves uh, because the world we live in is somehow very connected to people and, uh, and, I, wa and I was in a fortunate to have many good people as my friend and they helped me in different stages of my life. For example, the role of the Star Educational Society was uh, very bold. I mean very strong. For the first time I started learning English at Star Educational Society. This was a beginning for me to develop an idea of a wider, bigger world where I can get, for example, my higher education. And I think Star Educational Society had helped me in this regard to widen a bigger world for me and a bigger uh, and show me a bigger horizon where I can explore many different things like getting higher education, improving my English language skills, reading and writing in, in different languages, especially in English language. Uh, but there are many other people also. For example, I'm very grateful to Kara who edited my essays and who helped me uh, to have a better understanding of the Fulbright, Fulbright competition and uh, prepare myself for that competition better and I think her advice is, was very useful for me and helped me to prepare myself and, and get myself to the interview stage and then to the finalist stage and I think without the help of all these amazing and good friends I would have I would have reached to some stages but I would not uh, walk forward with a better understanding and with a great confidence. Their help, their advices help me to be confident and uh, to be confident and use my potentials for achieving the goal I was looking for. First, I would like to say that everyone's way of getting, getting or reaching to something is different. So let's appreciate that everyone Everyone can have his or her own way, but still there are common things. For example, having a strong academic background is a very strong point that will support you everywhere in your academic life. 
in addition to having a strong academic background is having good language skills. So anyone who wants to get Fulbright scholarships should work on his language or her language skills, on his writing, on his reading comprehension, on his speaking and his listening. These are very necessary skills, language skills. In addition to language skills, I think we should have a clear goal. The other thing I think very important is having being a very beneficial community member where you use your potential, your education and whatever you have to help your fellow community members, your fellow countrymen and women. And I think this all will demonstrate the, demonstrate a very strong leadership potential and by this all by, by having a good academic background language skills a good good language skills a, a, a clear goal and a commitment to your people to your country and to your community will demonstrate a very strong leadership potential and all these will uh, make you a very strong competitive candidate for the Fulbright Scholarship. The program I want to pursue in the US is uh, uh, security studies. So the point I had was that I've, I've been working in Afghanistan human rights and democracy organizations with war victims in, pro, in, in the field of civilian protection, uh, all these things, and how to help uh, Afghan communities to have a peaceful life without conflict and, and a peaceful coexistence. So uh, the goal I want to is to pursue this program is to come back in Afghanistan and to have a, a, an organization to establish an organization for security studies. We we go to to the very communities and ask the people and try to understand the people what are the root causes of the conflict and how they can themselves help to address the Afghan conflict at the grassroots level. The other objective I want to pursue after, after my education is to research on the Afghan issues, on the Afghan conflict and security and try to add an Afghan insight from an Afghan perspective, adding the local perspectives and the very community perspectives. So uh, this I think can be a very good uh, research career for me can create a very good research career for me where I am trying to bring the local the local views the community views to the Afghan government and presenting it to the Afghan international uh, to Afghan international uh, allies who are working with the Afghan government that yeah these things are missing the Afghan community the Afghan local people want all these things and I think these are the root causes of the Afghan conflict so please consider all these things in the policy level also what I would do is uh, helping the Afghan uh, the Afghan government to make some policy on this on this regard for example, I think we do not have the we do not have a good understanding of the Afghan conflict, and also we do not have a good understanding of the policy factors. So all these things have created a mess of everything. So nothing is clear, and the Afghan government does not does not understand what 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 to do and what policy can help to mitigate or to reduce all these problems. But I think if we have enough Afghan researchers, Afghan policymakers who can understand all this at the community level and from an also at, at an international level, they can help the Afghan government to make sound policies to mitigate the Afghan conflict and to overcome the current security problems we are facing.